Position integration on Twitter. Welcome everyone. Um, we are looking forward to having this great session and hopefully have you walk out with useful information about Twitter, as well as learn some skills about getting yourself ready for uh, from a job perspective at uh, Twitter or in the technology field. With that, uh, are you going to advance the deck, uh, London? Yeah, it should. Uh, be. Do you want to do a quick round of in intros, Ekal and Leila? We I have with me Ekal, Leila, and London as well, who is helping through this session um, today. Leila, kick us off. Leila. Oh yeah, Azerbi. Yeah, my name is Leila Jimeno Jimenez. I'm uh, in the People Strategy and Innovation Team. Um, I'm doing research into the future of work. I'm originally from Spain, and I'm also currently studying a master in industrial and organizational psychology at San Francisco State University. I can go next. So, hello all. Uh, I'm Michael Golis. Uh, I'm the technical lead for performance arts for my faculty team. Uh, currently building new formats that you see on ads on Twitter. Uh, and I'm originally from India. Awesome. And I guess I'll just introduce myself too. Hi, everyone. I'm London. I think I know some of you on this call. Um, I work on our social impact team, and we get to partner with some really cool organizations in the community and help them continue to, to accelerate their impact um, on Twitter and off of Twitter. So thank you all for being here. All right. Um, the agenda for today, um, will London, are we doing intros with everyone or just uh, the group? I think we should probably start with their presentation. All right. So let's uh, walk you through what, what is Twitter about Twitter. And before we get into the details of the interviewing 101 resume prep, and you know, we'll leave room some questions and answers at the end of the session. So what is Twitter? Um, some of you or most of you know, Twitter is about serving the public conversation, um, people and brands, and it's about serving healthy public conversations. Um, yeah, I think the slides are a little bit behind. So the way Twitter is, can you move to the next slide, Landon? Most have you are you all familiar with Twitter? Any of you used the tweets before? Okay, awesome. Move to the next slide. Um, the way them. Twitter is organized is into nine different organizations within you know product engineering, design, and research. Those are more of the technical organizations. Um, also, we have the the core functions around legal that takes care of the policies, etc. Uh, privacy, security and services, another organization, finance, people and marketing communication. So these are the key pillars um, of, of Twitter that the way the company is organized uh, would be helpful for you to kind of know as you navigate uh, different types of roles in each of these organizations. All right. Okay, so we'd love to give you a little quick virtual office tour um, and play this video. Let me know if you can hear this sound. My name is Kelly and I'm going to try my best to describe to you um, an office that is out of this world, um, out of all the Twitter offices. So Twitter Boulder is nestled right at the base of the uh, flat irons. So basically when you walk into the Twitter lobby and you look out the window, you just see this breathtaking view of the flat irons and a hike that I try to do in the mornings before going to work is, hope I'm saying this right, is Chautauqua. Uh, it is just such a beautiful community and in the Boulder office, uh, there are kind of these hammocks that are hanging from the ceiling just to sit and you can relax and work. There's backdrops that show uh, snowboards and helmets that give you just that feel, the outdoorsy feel. And in all of our offices, we have the term hashtag love where you work. But in Boulder, they have hashtag love where you, and it says bike, hike, 
ski, run, swim, and just all these outdoor activities. So um, just imagine in your mind that you're out, take a deep breath um, of fresh air, and that's what it feels like. Um, it gives you the feeling of being outside, but you're inside. So welcome to Twitter Boulder. Hi, my name is Pascal. I'm a university recruiter and I'm based out of Singapore. Our office design is mainly inspired by the Peranakan culture and also um, twittery bird elements. You see like bamboo, you see uh, Asian looking lanterns uh, and lots of patterned tiles and the walls of the office, uh, they mimic the shop houses um, shop houses are very uh, old school in Singapore, so uh, we have that as inspiration. We have a designated games corner in the commons, so we have a table tennis table, we have a uh, TV with uh, console games. Uh, office is the regional headquarters for Asia Pacific region, and right now the teams here are mostly comprised of sales organization, but we also have a growing engineering presence here. Hi Turns, Rihanna here and welcome to my San Francisco virtual office tour. Now San Francisco is near and dear to my heart because I am based out of San Francisco and it's a pretty amazing office. Now once you get into the market building on the ninth floor, you get greeted with this huge common space where we have our breakfast, lunch, you could get takeout dinner, snacks and drinks are always on deck, which could or could not be a bad thing. And it opens up into our roof deck, which is my other favorite part of the building. You can go there and do your work, lounge. We have games out there like cornhole, which is a lot of fun. You could really just enjoy a beautiful San Francisco day out there. Now, my ultimate favorite part of the San Francisco office is what we like to call the perch. Now the perch is our very own Twitter cafe. It has all the really cool vibes. I love working out there the most. And we definitely also get live performances and has the best coffee you could ever get. So again, San Francisco is my absolute favorite and welcome. My name is Wazorn and I'm a university recruiter on the team. Uh, I'm based out of the New York City office and uh, a couple of things I would say about our office that are super unique is one, um, there's a basement area which we call the cellar that actually has a secret passageway that gets you from one area of the cellar into our coffee barista. Don't tell anyone I told you that. Uh, two, we get avocado toast on Mondays. West Coast, I know y'all are mad too. Um, and three, I think we get the best uh, VIT drop-ins. A VIT is a very important Twitter. Um, and I've met folks from John Legend to D Smoke, who is the winner of the Netflix special called Rhythm and Flow, uh, to Michael B. Jordan. Um, I've been able to just walk into the office and meet some pretty cool people on a regular basis. So that's why I love New York City and I can't wait to see y'all out here. Hey guys, it's Sarah from the London office. Now I know it sucks that we're unable to host you guys at our offices this summer, but I'm gonna tell you some cool stuff about the London office where when you do come, you won't be surprised. Now, apart from the free breakfast and lunch, unlimited snacks, unlimited drinks, we have some really cool rooms within our offices. Now we have a yoga room, we have a fitness room, we have one of my favorite, which is the Zen room. Now, this is a top secret and only the London tweets know it or whoever flies in from another office. Now on the engineering floor, you will see a plain uh, wall at the back of the uh, office and it looks like an ordinary wall until you go close up to it and something just doesn't seem right about it. And now if you push the wall, there's a secret bar at the end. And that is one of the most amazing uh, things about the London office, our secret bar. And I really hope when you do come and visit, I'll have the opportunity to show it to you in person. Twitter Seattle. I know you can't be there right now, so I'm going to try my best to take you on a virtual tour of one of my favorite offices in the whole world. 
Uh, first off, Twitter Seattle is located just a few blocks from Pike's Place Market. During our lunch breaks or breaks, we would just walk down to the fish market, um, see them tossing the fish back and forth. But you can also watch it from the commons area where you have lunch. You can see Pike's Place Market from Twitter Seattle. Uh, if you go to kind of the right of the building, you have a view of the Space Needle. On the wall, it has a mountain. Basically, it's Mount Rainier, but it's made of all these different hashtags of all the different places and things to do in the uh, Washington, Seattle area. So hopefully you'll enjoy seeing the pictures of Twitter Seattle and welcome. Awesome. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that video. I honestly haven't had the opportunity to visit the office yet um, because, you know, coronavirus, <laughs> uh, but I'm so excited to get there. So now that you are a little bit more familiar with Twitter, let's talk about how to set yourself up for success. First, let's talk about your resume. What is a resume? A resume is basically a story that talks about your work experience, skills, accomplishments, and education on areas related to the job you're applying to. And I would like to highlight this part. The resume needs to highlight your past experience that relates to the job you are applying to. At the end of the day, the goal of a resume is to show the recruiter that you have the experience they are looking for and to help you stand out in front of other candidates. The ultimate goal of a resume is not other than to grant you an interview. First impressions are very important. So let's talk about how to create a great resume. Format, be concise. Your resume should not be longer than one page. Choose an easy to read font. Organize your experience and education in reverse chronological order. Use clear and simple descriptions. Ideally, you want to organize your information using bullet points. Think that recruiters read hundreds of resumes every week. You want to make it easier and possible for them to engage with your resume and to pick you to have an interview. Let's now talk about the content. As I mentioned before, first, make sure to include information that is relevant to the job you are applying for. The content of your resume should be full name and contact, relevant work experience and technical skills, honors and awards, degree and major, leadership experience, and relevant projects. Again, with this information, you're trying to show the recruiter that you are the perfect fit for the role and that you have the experience and education they are looking for. Let's now talk about do's and don'ts. Things that will help you get that first interview are tailor your resume to the position, quantify your achievement with results, use action verbs and keep bullet points short and simple. On the other hand, do not make spelling grammar errors. Have a family friend or a family member or a friend review your resume before sending it out. Do not use passive verbs and do not undersell your leadership experience. Let's now watch a video Tutor, tutor, uh, tutor uh, you has prepared on how to create the perfect resume. I think we have a few sample resumes first. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, those are some uh, uh, sample resume that are really easy to read and really easy to follow. Okay, okay here's the video I was talking about. Hi, my name is John Julik, and I'm a university recruiter here at Twitter. Your resume is the number one thing to help you land an interview at Twitter. So here are some tips to make sure your resume is great. Use bullet points that are simple, direct, and to the point. Cut out all that irrelevant content that isn't applicable to the job you're applying for. Focus on your impact and use quantitative metrics to show that impact. Instead of saying, I made an app, tell me, I made an app that grew to 10,000 monthly active users. Some metrics you can focus on are money brought in, money saved, time saved, or users gained. 
If you have any cool projects, include a project section. Here you can have personal projects or projects you did in your class. Include your extracurricular activities. Are you a member of a club or organization? Put that in there. It shows leadership and that you can take initiative. And don't forget to proofread. Good luck and follow us at Twitter U. So now that your resume have done its job and you have an interview, let's talk about how to ace your interview. Let's start by defining what an interview is. An interview is basically just a conversation with a recruiter or hiring manager to better understand your background and whether or not you are a good fit for the role and for the company. Interviews might be very different based on the role you are, you are interviewing for, the company you are interested in, or even the person driving the interview. But there are some tips that can help you prepare for almost any type of interview. First, practice answering to common interview questions such as, tell me about yourself, or what are your biggest weaknesses and your biggest strengths? Make sure you reread the job description and tailor your answers based on the job you're applying for. For example, if you're applying for a coordinator position and they are looking for a, for a person with great communication skills and organization skills, do not list your biggest weakness as, I have trouble staying organized. Make sure you talk about a weakness that won't affect your performance in the job and highlight a strength that relates to a skill you have and you know they are looking for in the role. Second, research the company and the people interviewing you. The company's website is a great place to start. Also, look for your interviewers on LinkedIn. Try to understand what they are passionate about, what motivates them. If any of those areas are also of interest to you, make sure to mention them during the interview. Mentioning common areas will show that you have taken the time to investigate the company and that you are a great fit for the organization and for the team. Other than showing that you have the experience and knowledge needed, you also want to make sure they see that you are a great fit for the culture and the company and their values. Third, make sure you prepare questions for your interviewer. Remember, they are interviewing you, but you are also interviewing them. So make sure to ask questions. For example, is, if for you it's very important to have work-life balance, make sure to ask about it. This is your chance to assess if the company is a good fit for you. In the following video, there are additional tips on how to prepare for your non-technical interview at Twitter. Hello, my name is Kiara Locke. I'm a university recruiter on the Twitter U team. And I wanna share some advice to you about how you can ace the non-technical interview. There's something called the imposter syndrome that really impacts the way certain candidates view themselves and their accomplishments. Get rid of all of those fears, all of those things, and think about what you know and what you can bring to the table. Another thing that you can do is to be self-aware and acknowledge where you have opportunities to grow. These are things where if you can highlight what you're doing to improve on those things, it shows your willingness to grow and develop yourself, and that shows that you're willing to take initiative. We have many different types of interviews. However, I would always be prepared for behavioral, case, and technical questions. There is a very common question, which is the tell me about yourself question. It's a very easy question, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't prepare for those questions. The best thing you can do is actually create a story about your journey. Tell us, take us through a journey which brings us through your present, your past, and your future, and making sure that all of that ties into why you want this opportunity right now. As much as we are excited to learn more about you as a person, we're also really interested to learn more about your past experiences and your career. Prep how you're going to deliver each of those positions in a way that highlights your function, your role, and really talks about your accomplishments. Lastly, make sure you ask 
thoughtful questions. This is a two-way street. We want to make sure that you're a good match for us, and you should also make sure that we're a good match for you. Good luck. I, I love this video. I remember actually when I was preparing. Uh, so I, I started a Twitter not long time ago. Um, so I remember when I was preparing for my interviews, I watched this video and it's, it's definitely really helpful. Um, anyway, some tips I would like to uh, remind you of. First, famili familiarize yourself with the company, their product, their values, the job posting. These will help you tailor your responses and allow you to choose to highlight the information that matches what they are looking for and what they value. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Acing job interviews take practice. It is a skill that you need to learn. Practice with friends, with family. Record yourself answering common questions and watch the videos. Look for feedback. Learn how to improve your skills. And ultimately, remember to ask questions. They are interviewing you, but you are also interviewing them. Make sure the company and the team will be the perfect fit for you. And now for the next part, I would like to hand it over to Eiffel. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Lydia. So uh, for uh, skills to be successful at Twitter, uh, we have a few points. So first one should be be curious uh, at Twitter uh, and then have a positive attitude. Uh, uh, and then teamwork is really important uh, over here. You cannot be achieving everything on your own. Uh, and then building relationships is also really crucial over here. You have to just not rely on yourself, but also rely on the relationships you have to grow over here. And then uh, as a part of that, uh, you also have to ask for help. Many people don't, need, don't know how to ask for help or how to uh, uh, reach out when they are stuck on a problem. Uh, so ask for help and the guidance that you need. And uh, moving on, uh, we also have some additional resources uh, for this career's website uh, for Twitter to join for early, early career. We have a resume 101 link as well. We have a YouTube link for resume 101 as well. And then we also have links for non-tech interview 101. And with that, I would like to open uh, for questions. Uh, so if, if there are any questions, feel free to ask them. Uh, I can dive it to visited people. Questions from our participants? Um, are there, um, I have a question. Um, do you guys have a listing of openings, of the job openings that you are, um, do you have any current openings? And yeah, where can I find them? Yeah, I can definitely take this one. Um, we have a lot of openings right now. Uh, based on how much experience you have, um, we can, I can direct you to more like early career type of roles as the additional resource the first one said here. Uh, if you have more experience, probably you just want to go to the career side and search for roles. Um, let me actually, I can just probably, or um, London, if you can maybe share your screen of the career um, side. Yeah, I just posted it in the Slack, in the um, chat. It's careers.twitter.com has all of our open listings around the world. Um, let me see if I can navigate to the site though. careers.twitter.com. You can essentially search for our roles, search roles based on different locations, based on teams at Twitter. Um, so you can basically filter, but there's there's hundreds of roles that are currently open right now. There are also other options. Um, you can also apply for an internship, uh, apply for more early career roles. Um, in the early career side, you won't apply for a specific role, but more in general for early career. Um, early career divide in different areas, engineering, corporate uh, functions. Um, so if you have more like a limited uh, experience, like one to two years experience or even no experience, that may be the way to go. Um, 
so yeah, I just wanted to mention that we have also internship. We have also um, different types of programs depending on um, when in your career, where in your career you are. And where do I find that on the website? The early careers. Oh, thank you. Um, and then and then the internships. Do I look under the internships under early careers as well? Um, if you go London, go back to careers. Yeah. Just click career on the left. Yeah, if you go down, if you scroll, yeah, we have early careers there. Yeah, if you scroll down in this page, you will find internship for uh, PhD or uh, regular internship. We have also diversity programs. Right now we are recruiting for, I believe his second year engineer um, Latinx students. Um, so that might be something you're interested in. Yeah, there are different options here um, based on, on your experience and your interest. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for the question and thanks for your answers, uh, Leila and Daniel. Uh, moving on, is there any more questions? I'm, I have a question that I'll ask. Sure, go ahead. Leila or Gal. Um, what is one thing that you wish you had known before starting your job at Twitter that would have helped you in your job search? Um, I think it's something I highlight in my, it's part of the presentation a lot, is about tailoring your resume and your answers based on what they're looking for. When I started interviewing for roles in general, I used to be like, oh, my name is Leila. My experience is at least all my experience. And you know, the recruiter will be like, I don't care if you were, you know, if you are great at cooking, I'm not gonna ask you to cook in this role. So what I do right now is kind of like, I go back to the job posting and be like, what are they looking for? What, what type of experience do I have related to what they're looking for? I basically, in my case, create a document with all these common questions. I have a list of maybe 25 common questions. And before an interview, I will go through all that questions and change the answers, bringing up experiences that I have related to what they're looking for. I wish somebody had told me this when I started looking because I wasted a lot of time interviewing and then never being called back just because I wasn't using the right strategy. So that's, I, I think that would be my advice. That's great advice. Uh, I can also add to that. So uh, starting at Twitter, I didn't actually uh, work on my LinkedIn profile or, or my resume to apply for Twitter. And uh, I wish I had written more. Uh, uh, my resume was like out of date for probably for like two years. So um, I wish I had done more on that. Mm -hmm. Does anyone else wants to add to this answer or are we good here? Any other questions? We can move on to the next questions. If... Okay. I think that was it, unless I call you wanted to present anything else. I just yeah. would like, I just maybe would like to encourage people again to ask any question now. Um, I, I'm not gonna say we are experts. Um, and I, I don't think, when I think about getting a job at Twitter, I don't think I'm better than anybody else. I just, I just use this, the right strategy. I just say the right things during my interview. And I think everybody can do that. You just need to learn how to do it. Um, so yeah, I will encourage people to just ask any questions you have. Again, this is based on our experience, but I'm happy to, or we are happy to just help you and answer any question. Um, do you have any uh, beginner positions where that doesn't require a degree as far as like housekeeping, uh, cooking position, janitorial, anything like that? That's not like skill wise. That's a great question. Um, I am not 
to be completely honest with you, I'm not sure. I believe for those positions, Twitter hire external companies um, to, for those type of roles. But to be completely honest with you, I, that's something I can check and get back to you, definitely. Um, if you wanna share your email, I'm, I'm happy to, to send you an email when I find out that information. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's, I think you're right. I think we do contract to other agencies and vendors, but I'm sure they have large networks and um, openings that we could probably connect you to if that's something that's of interest. Um, and waiting for people to maybe have have more questions. I would like to ask everybody a quick question. What drives you to attend this session? Are you trying to learn just more about Twitter or what what are you what would you trying to learn and accomplish with this session? I'm going to start I'm going to start calling on people if, if you don't volunteer. Eh? <laughs> I, I just, um, you know, I just wonder um, how to work and what you show us about the, um, you know, the, the space that that you work on it. it. It really looks really nice, you know, how people interact and all the wonderful space that you have for the employees. It's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> now it's like I want to work there. <laughs> yeah, I, thank you for showing that. Yeah, I could. I think I completely agree with you. I've never visited an office yet because uh, due to COVID, offices are closed. But yeah, I I cannot wait to step a foot on an office and just kind of like have this experience. So th thanks so much for sharing. And Leila, I know we have we have many participants who have different levels of English and Spanish abilities here. So maybe if you want to repeat the question in, in Spanish as well, we can um, extend this to be a bit of a bilingual conversation. Sí, claro, por supuesto. Y, y sentiros libre de preguntarme en español si queréis, porque um, siendo de España obviamente os voy a entender. Eh, mi pregunta es un poco, ¿qué, ¿qué os ha hecho venir a esta sesión? ¿Qué, ¿Qué, por ¿Qué queríais aprender o qué queríais conseguir viniendo? Um, ¿Queríais simplemente aprender un poco más sobre Twitter o, o ver si tienen nuevos roles, nuevas, nuevas posiciones abiertas? Como que, ¿qué, ¿qué os ha hecho venir? ¿Qué os ha hecho pasar una hora de vuestro tiempo con, con nosotros? Hola, buenas tardes. Mi nombre es Brenda Jorge. Eh, yo la verdad quiero aprender un poquito cada, cada día más de lo, sobre el tema. Eh, también eh, estoy interesada también en buscar trabajo, en que, cuál es, qué oportunidades hay, eh, qué oportunidades me conviene, como tengo mi niña pequeña. Entonces, eh, como, entonces yo quiero aprender un poquito de cada cosa, la verdad. Y quiero eh, estar un poquito más informada también. Por eso es que, bueno, yo vine aquí a la hora de, de 3 a 4 para, para aprender un poquito de cada cosa y, y para tener la oportunidad pues de, de tener la posibilidad de a ver que, si, si consigo algún mi, mi espacio así como que tra, para trabajo. pues Entonces para mí es bonito eso. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias por, por compartir, Brenda. Eh, Twitter tiene, tiene bastantes oportunidades. Repito, eh, os recomendaría que fuerais a esta página que, que aparece aquí, um, relacionado con, con el tema que dices que tienes una niña. Twitter también ofrece muchísima flexibilidad eh, en los horarios y realmente respeta mucho um, nuestro tiempo libre, nuestro tiempo para estar en familia. Um, es una muy buena compañía para trabajar, entonces te recomiendo que realmente mires esta página y busques a ver si hay algún... Uh, algún puesto de trabajo que se acomoda a lo que tú estás buscando, a tu área de interés. Um, entonces, sí, te recomiendo que realmente lo mires porque eh, quizá ahí encuentras algo que, te, que se te acomode. Muchas gracias. Una pregunta. Y, sí. ¿Y para esos puestos necesitas el permiso de trabajo? Um, sí. Eh, Twitter, eh, necesitas tener permiso de trabajo y aparte de tener 
necesitas social security number, uh, permiso de trabajo y además ellos chequean como nece necesitas llevar tu permiso de trabajo a algún lugar para que te lo validen. Es un proceso complicado, entonces si necesitas ser um, o permanente residente o ciudadano o eh, creo que ellos también sponsorean visas de trabajo, um, mm. pero en ese caso no tengo muy claro cómo, cómo funciona eso, pero creo que también sponsorean visas de trabajo. Oh, gracias. Sí, nada. Hola, yo soy María y yo no... Um... Bien, yo este, no sé si puedo hablar o, o alguien más ya tenía la, la mano levantada para hablar. Ah, no he visto ninguna mano, así que te diría no te preocupes. Eh, okay. um, pues yo a lo que me vino, a lo que, porque entré en la, en la clase de hoy, aunque entré un poco tarde, era este, pues para aprender más, uno quiere ver cómo hacer tus resúmenes para un nuevo trabajo, uh -huh. este, como esa que dices de Twitter, yo, no, no, yo pensaba que Twitter solamente era la página de, de correos que tú miras, sí, y no, no sabía que también puedes aplicar con ellos para trabajar, entonces me parece interesante que no solamente uh, a lo que yo había entrado a ver, este, a, 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 a los trabajos que yo pensaba que iba a mirar en la clase, este, me sorprendió que estuviera Twitter y, y sí voy a ver este, cómo um, esta clase nos ayuda como para hacer nuestros resúmenes de trabajo y que también muchas veces yo había pasado eso que estabas comentando, porque ese también fue mi caso, hace como un mes me mandé como miles de correos y nunca recibía nada para atrás. Entonces, sí. pero era lo que tú estabas diciendo. A lo mejor eh, estaba perdiendo el tiempo en, en trabajos que, que no, no eran calificaba como con ellos o nuestros los esquíos que uno tiene a veces. Uh -huh. Pero ya lo aprendí para no, en nuestro próximo futuro, ya no, que no me pase así porque nunca llaman. Solamente aplica sí. uno y no, no hay nada. Sí. Lo que, lo que creo que recomiendo de nuevo, y, y lo voy a decir en español para los que pues a lo mejor tienen menos nivel de inglés, es realmente con tu, tu currículum, asegúrate de que solo pones información que está relacionada con el trabajo. Por ejemplo, trabajar como nani no es solo trabajar como nani, no es solo cuidar niños, es responsabilidad, es trabajo en equipo con los papás, es coordinarte con los papás, coordinarte con los niños, con la, el, eh, el horario de, de los niños, las, el, el seguir una pauta. En vez de simplemente poner, fui nani y cuidé de tres niños, como asegúrate de poner todos esos pequeños detalles que quizás no te habías dado cuenta de que estás haciendo y, y realmente estás haciendo todo eso, tienes una gran responsabilidad, estás coordinándote con los padres, entonces asegúrate de, de poner información que que es importante para el trabajo para el que estás aplicando, um, porque si no, pues es, es muy complicado. Las empresas reciben tantos correos electrónicos con tantos resumes que es, es complicado que te llamen de vuelta. Aquí te seguimos escuchando para que nos sigas asesorando y miremos eso, cómo se hace lo de Twitter para los trabajos. Um, ¿quieres, te, ¿Te refieres que vuelva otra vez a la página donde aplicarías al trabajo? Vale, déjame que la abro un segundo. Um, vale. Hmm. Espera, porque no sé por qué no me deja. Um, London, can you share again the career uh, page? For some reason, uh, Zoom doesn't allow me to share my screen. Yes, the regular one or the early career? The, the general one, so we can walk people through how to get to the early career uh, side. Okay, perfect. One sec. Um, sorry for interrupt, but unfortunately I don't have the, you know, the icon for the hand. I really want to raising my hands. Yes, I really want to make a question. Is I have basic 
basic skills. Twitter is available for payment training or teach me, you know, for the skills he wants. So he wants to look in for in a person. Yeah. So, um, Ekon, maybe you want to take this one. Um... Mm -hmm. Sure. So uh, we have several programs that also uh, uh, teach you the skills that you need to be uh, successful at Twitter. So if you go, go to the early career uh, uh, page of Twitter, we have several programs like internships and also apprenticeship pro programs that help you also learn the skills and also make an impact uh, at Twitter as well. So not only you will be learning some skills that you need to be uh, learning for doing the job, but also uh, uh, to uh, for making an impact to Twitter. And Twitter is a large scale company. It makes uh, impact for millions of users. And so you also get that experience as well. So uh, I guess uh, when you uh, think about these programs, like apprenticeship programs, uh, which train you for the skills, and also internships that all involve collaborating with different people on the team, that also helps you teach some of these skills. Yeah, and I will say on top of that, once you are in the role, they offer many different learning paths, some learning courses. Uh, for example, with our account, with our Twitter email, we have access to LinkedIn Learning and all the, all the courses that link, LinkedIn Learning is offering. So definitely uh, Twitter, Twitter really try um, for you to get more skills and to gain the knowledge that you need. Yes. And uh, for any, any new hire on Twitter, uh, we have a program that uh, spans two weeks uh, to learn about Twitter's culture, what you need to do to success, be successful over here, explain about their, uh, the practices at Twitter and processes at Twitter as well, uh, to get familiarized with what we work upon and how we work together. Uh, uh, and then in addition to that, you have uh, a resource called Twitter University which is a collection of uh, resource, uh, about 6,000 plus courses that you can take at any time uh, on your own convenience to learn about any technology, any process, uh, or any language or tool uh, in particular. Can, can we, in, in, this same page, in this same page, I can look in for, for, can you more down the page? Because I see, I see something like a student, okay. A student internship. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing that information. That's extremely interesting. I can take in time for, you know, a study and mm -hmm. see how is my skills. Yeah. And on top of that, I would like to mention that Twitter is a company that is really interested in diversity. Um, and it really, it really tries to, um, hire people from underrepresented backgrounds. So Latinx, Black, Asians. Um, eh, una cosa que me gustaría comentar también sobre lo que estamos hablando es que Twitter realmente está muy interesado en tener gente de diferentes lugares. Entonces ahora hay también muchísimos programas relacionados con eh, contratar personas latinas, per eh, personas asiáticas, personas de color. Um, entonces realmente te se enfocan mucho en en servir a todas a, a todas estas comunidades y en tener y en tener gente de diferentes de diferentes lugares. Hay alguna otra pregunta? Do we have any other question? I saw one in the chat that asked, uh, what would some of these early career options look like? And I think we've kind of covered that around internships, um, but maybe we could describe a little more what that, that might look like. Um, it's looking like most of these are also for either current students in college or recent graduates. So maybe we can mention a little bit about that. I'm gonna repeat this in Spanish for a moment. Entonces vi un, una pregunta ahí en el chat. Um, preguntando uh, cuáles serían el nivel de entrada. Entonces ya discutimos un poquito sobre los internships. Uh, mm -hmm. Muchos son para um, estudiantes de la universidad o recién graduadas. Entonces, um, 
tal vez ya contestamos la pregunta un poquito, pero podemos hablar más. Y también quiero mencionar que ustedes pueden continuar sus estudios en uh, la universidad aquí en San Francisco, San Francisco City College, o otras opciones también, dependiendo de sus intereses. Uh, y aquí en SeaWork estamos para uh, apoyar a ustedes con eso. And I also so want to mention that uh, we, we here at, uh, at SeaWork are here to support you with your education journey too. So if you see a career on here that you think, you know, I'm not at that level yet, but I'd like to be, we are definitely here. We can figure out, you know, identify some classes you want to take or figure out what that plan might look like for you. And we also have a question. Sorry, I'll let Leila and Ekal uh, answer that a little bit about the early career. And then we've got another question. Um, so about the early career, uh, eh, London, do you want to click in the apply for early career? Um, in the more down? Okay. There, early cut um, up a little bit. Yeah, here. Anyone? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go down a little bit. Sí, en, en esta parte, es, si os dais cuenta, tenemos diferentes uh, opciones. Por ejemplo, corporate fun functions um, son más como recursos humanos. Está más, más relacionado con recursos humanos. Um, entonces, quizá esas son las que aplicarían más a, a gente que quizá no tiene un degree en engineering, um, etc. Eh, también hay otras opciones... Eh, relacionadas con cursos más cortos en, el, en los que te ayudan a aprender esas, esas skills que necesitas. Uh, London, if you go back, I think there is an option, I was telling them that I think there is an option uh, like a short few weeks program in which they help you with um, the skills needed. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, go back. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Are you, yeah. are you talking about these, the diversity programs? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will say, I mean, most of these are associated with um, university or college degree. I would say the one um, that isn't is our apprenticeship program, which is relatively new within the past two years. Um, and right now it's only focused on engineering apprentices, um, but I think hopefully um, Twitter will open it up to non-technical. Non Um, but the apprenticeship program is a really good opportunity for non-university or non-college related folks. Sorry, yeah. Leila, I interrupted you. No, 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 that's great information. That's exactly the program I was talking about. Um, uh, para los que quizá no hablan tanto inglés, eh, London estaba diciendo que hay un programa que se llama uh, De Aprendir, este, eh, en el que básicamente es para gente que no tiene degree, eh, es por ahora solo está relacionado con engineering, pero esperamos que lo puedan a, abrir uh, como a más a different áreas. Uh, pero este quizá es uno que, que os gustaría, si estáis interesados, quizá eh, echarle un vistazo. And all of these programs are on the careers page, so you can spend more time looking more closely at these opportunities and the different eligibility requirements. Yeah. Thank you. Um, we have another question. ¿Qué nivel de inglés necesito para tener, necesito tener para aplicar? Um, yo diría que más un nivel conversacional. No necesitas tener un inglés muy bueno. Creo que simplemente es necesario que puedas comunicarte. También depende un poco de la posición para la que estés aplicando. Um, creo, que es, creo que es importante, creo que lo que ellos necesitan es que puedas comunicarte y puedas hacer tu trabajo de manera normal, que el inglés no sea un impedimento. Pero pues yo no tengo un inglés perfecto <risa> um, y aún así estoy aquí. Entonces no, no sientas que porque no tienes un inglés perfecto quizás quizás vayan a rechazarte, simplemente necesitas ser capaz de comunicarte. 
Awesome. I think we have time for just one more question. So we have one here. Are there any assistant or like secretary kind of? Well, positions? I, um, I, I just about eight for the weekend and then I added the extra. Oh, I think we can hear you. I don't think we heard you, Juliana. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Can you oh, it's okay. Someone might have cut in. Okay. Yeah. So we have another question in the chat. Thank you, Misha. Um, about do we have any, are there any kind of like assistant or more administrative positions that um, that exist within Twitter? I mean, maybe that's something that we do a, a bigger search on, but just generally speaking. I can take it. Um, yes, I mean, there's administration, um, there's administrative function on every team. Um, and there's, so short short answer is, is yes. Um, I wouldn't say there's like a program specifically that is like for um, administrative roles, um, but yes, there are uh, administrative needs across every team, across every function at Twitter. So that's definitely something um, that folks could explore as well. So I think the best place to find those would just be on the general career site. Awesome, thank you. And then Misha also asked about the third party things. Um, I think y'all mentioned we can kind of circle back to that, um, mm -hmm. see what we can um, offer our participants as well. Yeah, we'll see if we can get a list of like our co the contact information for those vendors or agencies and then connect you. Um, oh, that, so we can definitely do that after this. Sounds good. Yeah. And then uh, one thing that I saw too is for the engineering apprenticeship program. Um, since they are looking for people that not necessarily have like degrees in computer science, uh, just maybe some, I, I noticed one of the things was like having been to like a boot camp for like coding or having some knowledge of some type of, you know, coding software, I'm not sure what that looks like, but um, if that's something you're interested in, like we do have partners at like um, Code Tenderloin um, that have a coding boot camp. Um, so, we could help refer you to them as well. And you can participate in that program and then you could have those coding skills to then you know, apply for programs like this as well. Um, so it's definitely doable, it's an option. Um, yeah, just definitely letting us know what those um, interests are and then we can kind of um, refer you to the right places to start at. Mm -hmm. um, oh, sorry, one thing to join Oh, no, I was just going to translate it really quick. <laughs> Estaba diciendo que, por ejemplo, para este uh, programa de, de ser ingeniero, um, es de, eh, uno de los uh, requisitos, ellos no requieren que usted tenga como algún um, diploma de escuela secundaria, de ciencias de um, computadora, nada. Uh, nomás dice que necesitas como algún como, um, conocimiento de, de hacer como código de computadora y nosotros tenemos un um, um, uh, tenemos uh, conexión conexión sí conexión con el programa de Code Tenderloin que ayuda a las personas a tener um, a agarrar ese conocimiento de códigos de computadora entonces si eso es algo que le interesa podemos conectarlo a ellos para que agarren ese conocimiento y después pueden pro, um, trabajar o aplicar para programas como este Awesome. Thanks, Jackie. I think that's a great, that's a great point. Um, those programs are fantastic and we partner with them um, closely as well. And so, yeah, I think if, if folks are interested in the apprenticeship, like join a, a local program organization and like use it as a starting point. So thank you. So I want to be respectful of everybody's time. We're already a few minutes over, but many, many thanks to our partners at Twitter. Thank you, London. Thank you, Carl. Thank you, Leila, for all being here and sharing so much amazing information with us. Um, and I, I think we're all kind of broadening our horizons here and learning about the tech world in ways that I didn't really know many things about. So I really appreciate that y'all sharing your knowledge and your tips and tricks. Um, and we're the Seawork team, Jacqueline, myself, Misha, we're all here to support y'all um, through your career path, whether it's starting with a short-term goal and ending up at a long-term goal, like, you know, becoming a, an engineer at Twitter, maybe that's your long-term goal. We can try to help support you to get there. Um, so yeah, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you so much, Juliana. And thank you so much.
me and thank you everyone for taking time and hopefully you learned something new today that will help you on your career journey journeys. Muchas gracias a todos por venir. Many thanks to everyone for coming. Muchas gracias, Juliana. Muchas gracias, Jacqueline, por todo. Gracias por todo, gracias. por la información. Feliz tarde. Gracias. gracias. Thank you, London. Hi, I'm Wilma. Muchas gracias. Thank you, London. Thank you, London. Adiós. Adiós. Gracias. 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 Bye, bye. Um, Jackie, este, yo intenté entrar varias veces hasta que me dejó. Ya lo siento. Nosotros ah, puedes terminar la grabación. Um,